This is cool computer science. Hey, I'm Roger with Cool Computer Science, and in this video, I'm going to go through the setup of the Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 render service. I use the render service because I want to use my computer while I'm rendering my video jobs. I also use the render service to batch my jobs and help speed up the rendering process. The setup for me was a royal pain in the ass, but I've gone through and worked out a lot of the kinks and when you know the pitfalls, the setup's very, very easy. I've set up a simple procedure where I'll go through and discuss the basic requirements, configure the application, and run through some basic troubleshooting. I hope you enjoy the video. As you were. Rhino Squad, the following is highly classified and is not to be spoken of outside these walls. It's imperative we press that advantage, which is the reason for our next operation. Lieutenant Boss, take over. This is the render service setup procedure. Determine what computers you're going to use and install Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro comes with three licenses so you can install it on two more computers. Now network them together configure the application, and troubleshoot any setup problems. Now let's review the basic network requirements. Your network should be 100 base D or greater. You should have at least one network share folder. When you're using a firewall, open a TCP port number 53704. And if you're using a compression or capture application, make sure their codecs are installed on all the computers. I use a laptop and a desktop on a 100 base T network. Now we'll configure the application. The render service file name is VEGSRV80.exe and it's located in Program Files, Sony, Vegas Pro 8.0. Send a shortcut to your desktop and launch the application. Now perform the following. First, add the network computers. Click on Renderers, click on Host, and type the name of the remote computer. You can add multiple computers, but don't add the local machine. If you don't know the computer's name, just go to that computer Right click on my computer, select properties, and click on the computer name. My remote computer's name is Roger INSP 6000. And I'll go back and enter its name, press tab, and wait for ready to appear. Next, I'll add the network share folders. Right click here and select Autofill file mappings. The fields are now populated with the local share folders. If you want the render service to auto launch, go to Options and check Automatically Run After Login. And remember, perform this procedure on all your computers. The biggest problem I had during setup was getting the remote computer to connect. So I'm going to focus on troubleshooting this problem. I've made an attempt to add a computer to the laptop, and the render service failed to connect. Unavailable appears in the status window. I'll go through the problems I encountered and how to solve them. First, Check and make sure the render service is running on all the computers. 
for this example, I've disabled the render service on the desktop to simulate the error condition. A connection can't be made and unavailable appears in the status bar. So I'll make sure the render service is running on the desktop and refresh the service on the laptop. This time, the connection is successful. A network problem could also cause the failure of the remote computer to connect. I like to use the ping command because it's a quick and easy network check. But to use it, the ICMP protocol has to be enabled on the remote computer. And in Windows Firewall, it's disabled by default. To enable the ICMP protocol, go to Windows Firewall, click on Advanced, then ICMP Settings, and check Allow Incoming Echo Requests. Now open a command window by clicking on Start, Run, type CMD, and click OK. In the command window, type Ping and the name of the computer you're attempting to add. If the network is OK, you should see something similar to this, with a 0% loss. If your requests are timing out, and you get a 100% loss, and your ICMP is enabled, you could have a problem with your network card, a network cable, or your hub or router. So check and make sure that the network cables are connected snugly, and that the appropriate network status lights are lit. A third condition for the connection error could be that TCP port 53704 is not open in the firewall. If you're only using Windows Firewall, make sure that Don't Allow Exceptions is not checked. Since I'm here, I'll use Windows Firewall to simulate adding a TCP port. Most firewall applications have an area to add ports. In Windows Firewall's case, it's located in exceptions. Note that Sony Vegas has already added an exception. There's usually a button to add a port, which brings up a window where you can enter a description, a number, and a port type. And this concludes the troubleshooting portion of the setup procedure. It took me a couple days to get all the kinks worked out. Granted, it wasn't just for the setup, but some other things. And I'll probably cover those in another video. The bottom line is, the setup is pretty easy when you know where the kinks and the pitfalls are. And this concludes the setup for the Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 render service. I'm Roger, and this is Cool Computer Science. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.